welcome back to Buzzing Threads. In this video I'm going to talk you through the first few stages of the thread painting. Here I am working on the otter and this is the early stages of the thread painting of the otter. So first things to say is that I have already applied a lightweight interfacing to the back of the picture and that's to help stabilise it, stop it crinkling up because I'm going to be doing lots of stitching over the picture. The next thing to point out is I'm using quite a small hoop. I like to use a small hoop. It does make the sewing area quite restricted but it keeps the fabric really nice and tight which again is great because you're going to be applying lots of, of stitches. The, you'll see that I'm using an open toed embroidery foot and that is ideal for when you're doing this type of work. And the final thing to point out about the setup is that I've actually got the feed dogs up, which you, some of you might find surprising if you've done any uh, freehand embroidery on your machine. You'll find sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, and I vary quite a lot in whether I have my feed dogs up or down. And it's just a kind of a bit of judgment when I start work as to what feels right. Sometimes the movement of the feed dogs helps me with the kind of rhythm of my sewing, so I leave them up. The final thing I'm going to point out in this video is that I've started working on the eyes, the ears, the nose to start off with and this is quite often the areas that I start with and that's because they're really important to get right and I really like to get them out the way early. I might come back and add some more detail later but I want them pretty much there quite early on in the thread painting. Okay so that's it for now. There'll be more on thread painting in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!